Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about Phaser 3.14. So yes, Phaser 3.14, or the Pi version, was just released. Happy Pi Day there, Phaser. And if you've never heard of it, Phaser is a HTML5 game framework, and it's awesome. I've been a huge fan of Phaser for a very long time. I did a Phaser with TypeScript using the 2.x version tutorial series in the past. I did a uh, Phaser 3 tutorial for getting started when it was just released, and now it has matured a whole lot in the interim time. So I figured I would do this video. This isn't a huge release of Phaser to be honest. This video is probably as much to gauge what your interest is in with the Phaser project. So we're going to go through a little bit of what Phasers are all about, what the 3.14 release was about, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the prospects of making or not making a Phaser 3 tutorial series. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now as always, um, I have the story linked. Game from Scratch has covered it. Um, it will be linked down below along with all of these other links of what we're dealing with. The Game from Scratch link also has a link to the Tiled 1.2 news, which is relevant to this particular release, as well as a link to that getting started video I talked about a second ago and we will get back to in a moment. But let's go to the, uh, the formal release announcement for the 3.14 release over at phaser.io. Again, this link will be down below. Before I get too much further, if you hear a weird hum in the background, I apologize. There's literally nothing I can do about that. One of my neighbors is operating some seriously heavy equipment right now and everything in the entire world is shaking. So isolating myself away from the reverberations has proven almost impossible and I just glare at them angrily, but it's not seemingly helping. So on back to the video. So 3.14 is out now. The biggest thing here, and as I mentioned earlier, was that Tiled 1.2 support. Now Tiled 1.2 launched a couple weeks back. I did a video about it. So if you're interested, I'll toss that link down below as well. But Tiled 1.2 was all about, um, it had a new map format, new features functionality. You could do world size maps. But the biggest thing is that new map format. They switched up their JSON format and they broke basically all of the existing importers. So for a game engine to have their version of the Tiled importer for the newest format up and running in this speed tells you the kind of development schedule that Phaser is on. Now, a bit about Phaser itself. Phaser um, has been around for quite a while. It's been used to make a number of commercial games. It's probably the most popular uh, web framework out there. And there's the two versions. There's the Phaser 2, which is the established and, I guess, production version today. And then there's Phaser 3, in which the primary Phaser developer took lessons learned from developing Phaser 2, created a new underlying renderer and and uh, architecture for it and basically did a you know a clean build um, you know with the spirit and heart of phaser but a new core to work around so it should be more modern should theoretically be a bit faster and then these he's iterated quickly so phaser itself was phaser 3 was first shipped uh, early February, I think. When I did my video, my getting started video, it was February the 22nd, and I did that video literally days after the first release of Phaser. So this guy has been just released earlier this year, and it has improved massively. Now, I gotta say, the 3.14 release, other than having that cool Pi-related uh, numbering system, doesn't really merit its own video, because uh, there wasn't really a whole lot in there. You see, you've got the tiled map editor support, there's new features, Matter.js debugging, easier, uh, improved physics body creation, a lot of important fixes, including a GL canvas resizing fix, uh, better handling of game shutdown process, and fixes for issues with graphic.generate texture. So kind of the iterative stuff that you'd expect, plus improvements to the documentation. The, I think there's now TypeScript uh, examples throughout, and I'm a huge TypeScript fan, so definitely, you know, it's nice iterative stuff, but each release on its own doesn't have enough, you know, pizzazz type um, stuff to it to justify a five to ten minute long video here on Game From Scratch. But I am a huge fan of this fast release cycle, so a whole bunch of small updates is definitely a great thing all the same. And sometimes there's actually a shocking amount in these individual updates. The 3.4 one though isn't, isn't overwhelming by any means, but again, completed over a thousand new areas of documentation, not the sexiest thing you've ever heard of, but it's the kind of thing that the framework needs as it matures. On that topic, we come back to this. This is the video I did back in, as I mentioned, February, and this was an introduction to using Phaser. And then my question now to you guys is, are you interested in Phaser? Have you used Phaser 2? And are you moving on to Phaser 3? And if so, are you interested in seeing tutorials on using Phaser 3? Kind of the typical, uh, I do a dev game series on, you know, getting set up, structuring your game, 
drawing sprites, texture atlases, playing audio, animations, game life cycle, that kind of stuff. Pretty much end to end, here's how you work with Phaser. Um, let me know if you've already found a tutorial series that already works great for you, so you don't necessarily think I should work on this, or if you've got no interest in Phaser at all, or of course, if yeah, you'd love to see me do a Phaser tutorial, let me know which way you want me to go, and based on your reactions, I will go accordingly. As I mentioned earlier on, I am a big fan of Phaser in general, uh, so I, I would gladly do a series if you guys have interest in it. But at the same time, there is only a finite amount of time in each given day, and there's a lot of balls in the air right now. I'm still working on my Hello World series, uh, which is a 3D game in a bunch of different game engines. I'm, of course, working on the book as well, which includes uh, additional Godot tutorials coming very, very soon, by the way. Um, so there is a finite amount of time in the universe, so I have to be somewhat selective about what I do tutorial series on. So I would like to know, engage, what you're interested in. Would you like to see a long form tutorial series on dev game covering the Phaser 3 game engine or not? Let me know, comments down below. As always, appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.